Thanks. Hi, my name is Vanessa Mayeski, and as was mentioned, I'm with Washington All Literacy, but I am transitioning from Washington All Literacy to be the very first full-time employee of the Washtenaw County Literacy Coalition. So it's in that role that I'm here with you tonight. I wanted to give you a little background on the coalition because learning is a family thing, is a coalition project. And so the coalition was founded in 2007 and it has over 30 organizations of all kinds, literacy providers from the nonprofit community like Washtenaw Literacy, Family Book Club, 826 Michigan, um, Family Learning Institute, lots of organizations you may have heard of, but then also folks from county government, people from University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan, Washtenaw Community College, also the public schools are involved, and so we're really trying to get as many people as we can engaged in the mission of ending illiteracy in Washtenaw County, and when we talk about ending illiteracy, it's not just for one age group, but really working on the problem from birth throughout the lifetime, or really before someone's born, get those parents ready to read to their kids. The main project of the coalition is the blueprint to end illiteracy, and it's a lofty goal, but we're, we, we've got to start somewhere. And so what we've done is we've put together a plan to create a comprehensive system of literacy services, like so many other areas in um, service, the service providing world, you've got different organizations working on different pieces of the problem. And we're all working so hard with so little money to get what we can done that there's not often time to step back and say, wait, but if we're serving the parents at Washtenaw Literacy, how can we reach the children at the same time? Because we know 50% of them are probably going to grow up to be illiterate unless we do something. So this coalition is all about bringing people together and also bringing resources to the table that'll give us the time to really get together and improve our services. And when we talk about literacy skills, we're talking not just about being able to read, write, and speak English and do enough math to get by in your daily life, but also how are you applying it? So it's not just, okay, I can read the word cat, <laughs> but how am I gonna apply this in my life? How am I gonna communicate with my doctor? How am I going to get a job and keep a really good job? How will I manage my finances? That's a big one. And then for parents, how will I read to my children? How will I encourage their education so that they can grow up to be well-rounded, literate adults? Learning as a family thing is our first project working together. It's funded by the United Way of Washtenaw County, and we've just completed year one of a two-year project. And so this was really exciting. This is the first time we've had the funding to really get together and say, okay, where are we gonna start? How are we gonna learn to work together throughout all of these different organizations? And what kind of programming can we provide? Knowing that the first step is not going to be a large program that's really gonna impact the literacy levels of our population. Um, really what we wanted to do first was get out there and reach people who haven't been accessing our services and let people know that reading and writing and speaking English, doing math, all of these things are relevant to your daily life and these things can be relevant to your whole family. So we wanted to work on something that got us together and then got the word out to new, um, to new clients. And so we designed a two hour interactive session for families. We had four sessions focusing on um, four different topics, and we went out to five sites. The five sites we went out to were the Ann Arbor District Library, the Community Church of God in Ipsy, Faith in Action in Chelsea, Jewish Family Services, which is in Ann Arbor, and also the Ypsilanti District Library. And the four sessions really focused on these different applications of literacy. Reading Together, which was family literacy, Dollars and Cents, the financial literacy piece, workplace skills, and then healthy families, and that's the part that I worked on. So for healthy families, we got together. I knew, being at Washtenaw Literacy, I am not a health literacy expert. I mean, I was lucky enough to work with Pat, dreaming up that plan that she'll talk about. But you know, I'm not a healthcare provider. And so what I did was brought together a team of people. And so we had folks from the Ann Arbor District Library who have experience working with youth, another thing that, you know, I'm from the adult literacy arena. And then we also brought in Reach Out and Read, um, who does the health literacy in doctor's offices. We brought in the Department of Public Health, and we worked on some sessions together to really design, okay, what are we gonna do for two hours? And so we decided to have three concurrent sessions 
the children would be doing one track, the adults would be doing another in the same room or in two adjoining rooms. And then we'd also have some activities for the really young kids that were related to health. And of course, a healthy snack was provided. <laughs> and so this was our uh, format um, for the adults. We started them out with Ask Me Three, which is from the Partnership for Clear Health Communication, which is a tool I personally use when I go to the doctor. So I knew this was gonna be some really good information. Washington Literacy presented that, how to really boil down your communication with your doctor. Uh, then uh, Public Health and later Project Healthy Schools presented on this too, talking about nutrition. So reading those food labels, you know, how do you understand it? What's a portion size? My favorite was when she brought in the big bag of chips and said, well, how, much, how many of these would you eat? And people said, well, I don't know, a half of the bag, a third of the bag? Depends on how good the movie is. And she said, well, there's 11 servings in here. And everyone, oh my gosh. So, you know, really talking about nutrition and, you know, the best things to, to feed your family. And then we would end the session with this great book called What to Do When Your Child Gets Sick, Perhaps You Know It, put out by the Institute for Healthcare Advancement. And they have a whole series of, um, I don't know, health literacy books, resource guides for written at a really low reading level. And so we went through the book and got people comfortable in it, got people writing in it, let them know that this is a resource that they can use, and practiced using it. And then for the youth, um, Project Healthy Schools did more on the nutrition. They did some interactive activities with them, pouring grease into cups, showing how much oil is in those potato chips. It was just a lot of fun. And then uh, Girls on the Run, and sometimes the Department of Public Health has kind of evolved as we went, did some activities on physical education. We gave out pedometers and they learned how to, about keeping acti active and tracking their steps. And then for the little kids, besides blocks and crayons and things, uh, we had them uh, trace their body outline. We had stories about health, songs and games. And then the Department of Public Health gave us these place mats that they could cut out healthy foods and put together that plate that's supposed to be half vegetables. And so they would put the little pictures on there and laminate it, and they were all so thrilled to take that home. And so this is just to recap the adult sessions, the youth sessions, and the pre-K. We also incorporated some giveaways. Um, we wanted to make this as fun and as exciting for people to come. So um, we made sure that they all got referral information, both for Washington Literacy's program, other programs, resources at the libraries, public health resources, information on WIC, and we gave them the reference book, What to Do When Your Child Gets Sick, the pedometer and the placemat. There were free books. People could just come and take free books, which was also very exciting and you know, very important to help people build those libraries at home so it's easy to read to your kids. And then we also had a gift card giveaway. We did this in exchange for a completed evaluation form. We did uh, two cards, uh, a gas card and a target card, and they were Man, they went over huge. So with all the lift sessions, all the four different ones, not just healthy families, we reached 400 individuals, and we're hoping to reach more next time. Across the board, positive evaluations. Everyone said, this was great information. I'm so glad I came. I'll come again. I'll come see different topics. I'll tell my friends. And we've already gotten calls saying, when is lift going to start up again? And then also, it really did enhance the working relationships between the members. Um, we're better prepared now to do the kinds of interventions that will really improve the literacy rates in our county now that we all know each other and what we do and how to work together. So for the next steps is um, now that I'm full time with the coalition, I'll be calling the planning team back together so we can figure out what changes to make for round two and then the projects complete in June. And if anyone here would like to help, <laughs> You're welcome to join our planning team, either for the entire LIFT project or just for healthy families. If you're excited about that, you could be a presenter. We used uh, several students from the U of M nursing school, did some presentations for us. We're always happy to have more people come on. You could host a session if you have a community site where you've got a captive audience and would like to uh, bring this to your audience, we'd like to come. And so I've given my email there, and you're welcome to let me know. Thanks. <laughs>